guys welcome to this video this video is uh, third part of the analysis streaming and uh, i just uh, back to you like uh, we have learned on the uh, second part of this video that is standby and active right you understand better standby and active right so if you really understand just given comments do not forget right so in the second part in the third part what we learn this in this part so nic streaming and configuration so before starting this video i just reminded to you do not forget to like this video and do not forget to give comments the video if you have any questions on your mind okay and if you wanted to get the video on your email id just subscribe this okay subscribe my channel okay so it is showing on this video my channel it's a uh, uh, youtube.com user slash chandramani shauthari so this is what uh, my channel you can subscribe with putting your credential email id and password right so let's come to this video so ni streaming okay we have learned this earlier video that's uh, standby and active so this is what ni streaming configuration what ni streaming configuration isn't it a difficult task no guys it's not a difficult it's a very easy task while we configure the ni streaming you will get the three options over here like sorry two options over here one is the load balancing mode and the second is the team mode so what load balancing mode actually and what team mode actually we will uh, i will explain all these things but every mode contains in the every option i mean three options so, and every options contain the different work i mean every con oh, contain oh, having the different work what is that i'm gonna to explain to you okay so first load balancing mode whenever configure the nic teaming it will ask which load balancing mode you want to configure it's depending upon your situation it's depending upon your environment it's depending upon your enterprise depending upon your production environment what type of uh, mode load balancing mode you wanted to do okay so and the second option will ask you that is the teaming mode what type of mode you wanted to that is for switch independent mode static teaming mode and lacp mode okay so uh, yes i can tell you the things every every mode uh, contains you know uh, different work different strategy different infrastructure so it's it's all about to so depends upon your uh, uh, environments depends upon your uh, strategies depends depends upon your uh, you know uh, situations you have to be confused right right so i can I, i will explain the one by one things over here so it is better to understand in which environment you want to configure which load balancing and which teaming mode right so first address the hats right uh, it will it will easy to understand the next slide so I just come to the next slide this is what addresses has incoming traffic arrive via the same network okay so i just uh, made this uh, ppt uh, and this kind of animation uh, the reason why you people better understand otherwise uh, i in whiteboard i can explain to you also but this will really help you and this will uh, definitely will help you to remember this things what exactly address us see guys first remember one thing one point of address us that is what it uh, capture your ip address uh, and mac address and port details so it will capture the ip address mac address and port details this is what the thing uh, address us will do okay so well when the transfer pocket will transfer see i'm telling you i have the four computers over here four switches over here and every computer connecting the switch and different switches and every nic card also connecting the different different switch to the server right so whenever request something for the client so it uh, how it build the request from the server i mean from the client to the server so it will uh it will uh, the transfer the pocket in nic the different switch but nic card why it's different switch because uh, every system is connected in different switch that's what right but it's going to one nic within different switch and every switch are connected to each other if this if i give an example to you the four con computers when i the request something from the server if the four computers is requesting something for the server the first computer that is the bottom of the computer is requesting some it will go to the switch number switch in the below switch then it's the second uh, below and the third below and fourth and then go to the nic and it go to the server so this is what the function is doing and same thing if you look at this uh, scenario 
I think you understand this thing, guys. This is what the address has doing. If you wanted to this kind of things on your environment, if the you know uh, there are the different switches are there on your environment, you know it's connected the different computer and every every everybody wanted to connect at the particular one server. So this scenario will work. So you have to be configure address address. I hope you understand this video and enjoy this video. So do not forget to like this video and do not forget to give the comments if you have any question, any queries. If you wanted to like, if you wanted to. Take this video on your mail, so please subscribe it. Thanks, thanks for watching.